Hi, I'm Nancy Mahoney, and I'm here to share a tip with you. And my tip is how to make half square triangle units. And I'm going to share with you several of my favorite methods for making them. I'm actually going to show you six different ways that you can make half square triangle units. Well, I'm actually pretty old school, and I started quilting a long time ago when we would sew triangles together. And so the first tip is that you start with squares just regular squares. Um, you generally are going to cut them an inch larger than your finished size. And when you, after you've cut your squares, you're going to cut them in half diagonally so that you've got two squares. And then I pair them, I pair them with a light and a dark or whatever your fa two fabrics are. And generally I pair them together and then cut them in half. And you're going to sew one quarter inch on each side of that cut line and you want to make sure that you're doing a fairly accurate quarter inch seam allowance and then you're going to press it to the dark. Back when I started we would use 7 8 and so you added 7 8 to your finished size. Now I think almost everybody adds an inch instead of that 7 8 which means we need to trim them to size. My favorite ruler for trimming them to size is the block lock ruler. And they come in a variety of sizes, but you can get one size that you can use for many different root, um, sizes of units. So you're going to lay it on the unit, and this groove in the ruler locks into the seam allowance, and you're going to cut two sides, and then you're going to rotate the unit. If you have a cutting mat, rotating cutting mat, that works really well. And then you're going to cut the other two sides of the unit, and you end up with a perfectly sized unit. This is two and a half inches with seam allowance and we'll finish at two inches. Probably the most popular method for people nowadays is to start with two squares. You're going to draw a line on the lighter of the two squares and that line is going to go diagonally from one corner to the next. You're going to sew a quarter inch on each side of the line and then you're going to cut them apart on the line. Once you press them to the dark you're then going to trim them to size again. And I found for the most part, when these get out of square and they're, they're misshaped, it's due to the pressing. If we're pressing them really aggressively and taking the tip of the iron and pressing it against that bias seam, that's when it stretches out of square. If you do gentle pressing, you're really going to come out with a much better unit. Another popular method is to use a larger square. So if the math is to add one inch to your finished size for this method where you're cutting them either into triangles or you're cutting them, drawing one line, this you would add that twice, then you would take it times two. So if I start off with a three inch square here, I'm gonna start off with a six inch square. And I'm gonna draw two diagonal lines that intersect in the middle. Or I had a little ruler here, which, seemed, oh, here it is. It's gotten under the board. You can use one of these rulers that's a half inch size ruler. And then you would line that up diagonally and draw two lines. Depends on if you want to sew on the line or if you want to sew a quarter inch on each side of the line. If you're drawing just the two lines, you sew a quarter inch on each side of the line. Then you're going to use your ruler so that you're going to cut it vertically in half and horizontally in half. And line up your ruler so that the, it comes right through this point and a straight line on the ruler is even with the edge of the squares. And I have put two squares right sides together. Just so you understand that. So here I've cut these apart and then you're going to cut them apart diagonally. So now I've made eight identical half square triangle units. I'm going to press them to the dark and I'm going to trim them to size because I oversize them by an eighth of an inch. Another method that you can do is to use up your leftover two and a half inch wide strips. Sometimes we buy these pre-bundled strips and they, that are two and a half inches wide and we end up with just a little bit of a leftover. You can use those to make half square triangle units. And the way that you would do that is using a special ruler that are for folded corners. And so you're going to line up the ruler. This one you're going to line it up even here and even with the lines that come at a 90 degree angle. And I'm going to cut along the edge of the ruler 
and then I can turn the ruler around. I'd have to line it up differently, but I can, oh, I'd have to come down here. But you can turn the ruler around and cut on the other side. Now, you don't have a dog here, here, here at the top, but I'm gonna press to the dark and I'm gonna have to trim off this dog ear. It's important to sew an accurate quarter inch seam allowance with this one because you're making it the exact size you need. This will come out, if you start out with a two and a half inch wide strip, you're gonna end up with a two and a half inch unit. Another method, if you have any leftover pieces, squares particularly, is you can draw a diagonal line on one of those, the lighter of the two, and pair them right sides together. And you're gonna sew on the line and then you're gonna trim a quarter inch beyond the line. And there would be a little waist triangle here, which I seem to have lost somewhere in the transition. So there would be a little piece there that was for waist. I don't need it anyway, I'm not worried about it. So I'm gonna press to the dark, and these are gonna come out in exact size. This should be two and a half inches. And another method that I have really started to embrace is paper piecing my units. There's lots of different triangle papers out there that you can buy. This one makes eight at a time. So I start with two squares and I'm putting them right sides together and then I make them the size of my paper and then I pin my paper on top. And I'm gonna follow the line and it will tell you, you start down here, you stitch up, you stitch over, and you can see there's arrows that point you in the direction that you need to stitch. And when you stitch all the way around, you end up back down here. You're gonna cut it apart horizontally, horizontally and vertically, and then you're gonna cut each one of those apart to make your units. You're gonna press to the dark. You're gonna press to the dark. So when you open this out, you're gonna press to the dark and I'm gonna trim off these little dog ears. I'm gonna use my scissors to do that, to trim those off. And to take out the paper, the easiest way to do it is you fold it back, you put your thumbnail right there, and you pop it up. And then you just rip that paper off. And it comes out really easy that way. This is a good method when you have a lot to make and you don't have to really worry about whether you've got that quarter inch seam allowance accurate or not. And you don't have to trim them to size. They're already trimmed to the right size. So there you have it, my six methods for using half square triangle units or for making half square triangle units. And I hope you've enjoyed my tip and I welcome you to, to Quill Week and I hope to see you at another show. Thank you.